Welcome back to What Archie Nibs for General Disturbance. This is the KV-2. It's the Tier 6 Soviet heavy tank. It's located on the Eastbourne of Berlin and it's under the command of Hotty 89. Now, this is the famous strong tank that Jingles made famous in so many videos. 152mm M10 howitzer capable of doing 700 damage with the standard rounds but with the HE rounds it can do 910 and will penetrate 86 millimeters of armor and it's even got a blast radius of 3.66 meters so you only have to land around near the enemy and you can do damage to them standard reload is 23.01 seconds and you can see hotty's got it down to 18.91 it's basically um, a dirt mobile it's um, famous because it's um, they only made 210 of them, 110 in 1940 and 100 in 1941. And it was actually built for the Winter War to blow up the Finnish bunkers in the, on the Mannerheim line. But it actually became useful during World War II because, of course, one of them, famously at the Sinai Road Junction, actually managed to knock out or hold up three German divisions with just one tank by uh, derping them. Oh, that is a penetration shot. The, the enemy KV-1S has just lost 908 hit points. A low roll, but it's still a penetration. Okay, who's next? The long reload is the, the thing that lets it down because once it's actually fired, the enemy can get uh, numerous shots in unless the commander can actually get into cover quickly or have the support of some teammates who can help him. But he can also do that as another 914 hit points by hitting the cupola of that T-150. And remember the T-150 is an upgraded KV tank which has got extra armour. Well, he took one round, 17 pound around from the TOG, but the TOG's about to experience a lot of damage. Yes, that's another penetrating shot, this time the 818. So that's three derps in a row, all by hitting the weak spots. He aimed for the driver's port and he got it. Now that TOG doesn't know when he's completed the reload, but he will know once he's fired. And oh, well that wasn't as much as he thought it would be, because it wasn't a penetrating shot. He only got 207 from it. But um, that TOG is about to experience, well, if he keeps poking out like that, he will experience a, a final shot of the game. He can actually hit him on the rear now. I uh, didn't get it, actually, but a 17-pounder did hit. And, oh, he lost 138. Now, that's emboldened the TOG, too, because now he's got very low hit points left. He bounces around off the front of the TOG, too, of uh, the KV-2. And now we've got the uh, T-150 trying to get a shot. And he's now out of the game. This is very good play by Hottie89. Most of the time, top twos suffer a lot because they don't get a teammate to fight with. Unfortunately, we just lost one of our teammates, the uh, VK-301H. And now we've got a, a KV-2 as a teammate. And there goes the talk. Yep, we've got another KV-2 behind us. So two KV-2s working together, as long as they time their shots well, can cover each other and cause havoc amongst the enemy. Okay, who's around the corner? We're loaded, ready to go. Ah, now that KV-1 disappeared rather quickly when he saw us coming. Now, I think he's gonna follow that KV-2 around the corner. Although there is an enemy tank trying to get around the outside. It's the KV-1S. He's actually trying to get behind us. I think Hottie knows that. But well, Hottie's working with this KV-2 and decided to go with them and ignore the KV-1S, who's not so much of a threat to the Caro, because the Caro just puts him down with one shot. Okay. Well, Hottie's letting the other guy go out first. Oh, careful. Famously, the KV-2 couldn't actually fire when it was on an angle or a slope 
because of course the turret couldn't turn around. The gun was so heavy, the howitzer, that um, it was kind of restricted on where it could actually fire. But when it did fire, it was very, very dangerous to the enemy. Now, it only carries 36 rounds. Now, he's trying to say to that KV-2, let me go first. I'll take the hit from that KV-1. Oh, well, the other guy failed, but Hottie didn't. Hottie got it right. The other guy got it wrong. And now we're headed off to the enemy cap area. So Hottie now has three kills in this game so far and has accumulated something like three and a half, well, more than three and a half hit points of damage. Now, because it's a howitzer, um, when it, well, it's fired horizontally, it's more like an RT substitute, you might say. And it's an honorary RT. <laughs> that's another way of saying it. And that's why we feature them on What RT News, because after all, it's a howitzer just fired horizontally. And that's another hit, but it didn't actually pen that one. But the T-43's decided he wants to get out of there quick. He doesn't want another one. Uh, the turret traverse is not that great. But uh, I think he realizes now it's all over for him. He's going to go down. And that... Oh! He's lucky he survived that. And we have taken more damage. But that T-43 gets taken out by a Challenger. And there's now only one enemy tank left. And it's the RT, the M41 HMC. Now, Hottie's loaded her round. Or loaded the round, rather, I should say. Ah, oh, there he is, over in the distance. I think Hottie's going to stay in the cap area. Yes, the M41 did fire at us. Probably because we, he knows we're low on hit points, but he's just firing blind because he can't see us. Doesn't know where we are. So we'll just sit here and that's it. The game is over and it's a victory. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was an ace tanker game for Hottie89 in the KV2. He managed to get a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points for his own vehicle, as well as a high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game overall, and at least 20% of the enemy hit pool. Let's have a look at the team scores. Well, the highest damage in that game was 4,395 hit points to Hottie89. Second highest damage went to the Caro, who managed 1,750. And the third highest damage went to a Ram 2 on the enemy team, who managed 1,632. And that was the only player on the enemy team who managed to get over 1,000 hit points in damage. When it came to kills, Hottie actually had the highest number, but he shared it with the Super Hellcat. Both had three kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it's, yep, Hottie again, 1,555. The only player to get over 1,000 base in the game. 935 going to the Caro and 798 going to the Poodle. Hottie fired 10 rounds. Every round hit the target, but only four of them actually penetrated. The other six caused splash damage on the enemy. 4,395 hit points of damage, all of it done at close range. Received seven hits from the enemy. As you saw, the front of that KB-2 was well peppered. Five of them penetrated, two non-penetrations, and 300 hit points of damage brought by armor. He spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged five of the enemy, killed three, and did 33 hit points of damage assistance. He earned, well, 83,637 credits for the battle to take away, and 4,666 XP to take away as well. Very well played by Hottie. Um, incredible shots at the start of the battle with the um, the ones on the KV-1S, then the T-150, and then the TOG. Uh, it was only later on during the game that he was having difficulty with those other shots, especially on T-43, which is surprising because he actually had the engine bay of the T-43 to fire at, which is one of the weaker areas of the tank, but still couldn't penetrate it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm, and thank you for watching.